go. All right, gentlemen. As always, so good to see you all and uh, really appreciate the participation over the last two Zooms and even beyond. Um, we're in this nice uh, rhythm of layout updates. It's so cool seeing how many people are actually building layouts. This is great. And to have LeBron tonight is a treat. Uh, we're familiar with his work. So LeBron, I would like to hand this over to you and you can do your share screen and take it over. All right. But, uh, I started rebuilding my layout uh, because once I started looking at the TIF file pictures, there was just too much detail that I had gotten wrong or I omitted. Uh, okay. Tom and I went over this a while ago and it worked fine. Yep. Uh, oh. Maybe the arrows on your laptop? Uh, Maybe use the arrows using the arrows. How are you trying to advance it? That's I've tried both arrows and Huh. Hit escape and try it again. Or stop share. Oh, I know. It's frustrating. I hear you, brother. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And like 20 minutes ago, half hour ago, LeBron and I were on. You showed it. Bump was moving. Great. Okay. Let's see. And. And it's not new anything. It's frozen. That's weird. <laughs> um, tell you what. Stop your share again. Um, hmm. That's your first slide, right? Yeah. Yeah, maybe stop share. Go into your uh, PowerPoint. Mm -mm -mm. While he's doing that, is there troops on top of those boxcars? Yes. Okay. <laughs> um, yeah. yeah, there was somebody that was willing to make figures for that. I forget who that was. Well, you can do that. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You think they're Yanks? They must be Yanks. Yeah, they you know, must Okay, maybe. <laughs> I was thinking prisoners, but you know these are Western Union guys. They were pretty. Well, they may be uh, civilians being shipped out of Atlanta. Wow. Okay. Definitely USMRR cars, though. Yep. Yes. All right. Working. Um. This is the particular one I wanted to uh, look at. As I went further and further back, I was able to see detail back in here, like the staircase. I was able to read the uh, uh, Cox Hill uh, sign on top of that building. Uh, the TIF files are just terrific for uh, for detail. Last time I made a presentation, I, I would do it was on the backdrop that I was uh, painting. I have just a few pictures of. Uh, you can see here. Of the backdrop, and since then I have added, uh, started adding the model uh, buildings. Um, this here is uh, Peachtree Street. Um, this Georgia Bank building, Concert Hall, the Atlanta Hotel, Trout House, 
uh, Masonic Lodge that uh, I've added uh, to uh, the, the structures. Here's another detail. What I'm uh, I'm using for my track, and I'll talk a little bit more about that. Uh, uh, all of my yard track and uh, secondary track, I'm just using flex track, and I, I put in it on uh, in scale co uh, cork bed. Um, and mainly because that's what I had available. Uh, here is an aerial view looking down uh, on. Uh, my, my layout, uh, you can see uh, this is Marietta Street here. Um, I'm building up uh, the hillside with a uh, foam. And uh, I started making why. Um, step switches and it's such a meticulous slow process that I made me a jig and started making them on on the, with the, using a jig uh, because most of mine are all the same size um, one of the things I've done instead of using a frog I put these two rails together and uh, then put a piece of styrene in between the two rails to insulate them. That allows me to uh, use the power from these rails here on the frog itself. LeBron? Yes. So you have the frog rails actually soldered together. Uh, no, they you talk they they don't solder here. There's a gap that I filled with styrene. Oh, oh, oh! So the two rails that come off of that the um, the V rails to your right, they they just bend off of the, the these rails here. Um, I can't believe I'm forgetting the name. Yeah, it's the if you move your cursor to the right, that rail there. Those two rails, when they come together, they're not connected. These two, right? No, right. Wow. So I'm it's trying to think. Sleepers underneath. That's not copper coated or anything. It is. I got to cut some gaps in, in here. Oh, okay. in this particular particular one. Um. I, I I was just taking so long to do it by hand that I thought if I could make a jig that will work, it would be a lot faster. Right. Uh, here's some more pictures of uh, the, the layout as it stands now. Um, right around here is where the wall meets the uh, 3D model. Right. Uh, the colors, I was talking to Tom, in the layout room, the colors are not nearly as uh, gaudy. Mm -hmm. They're a little more subdued than, uh, than they are on the screen for some reason. You shoot that with your iPhone? I did. That's probably it, yep, yep. Um. I could I will I ask you later, but I'm fascinated by that yellow house between uh, the trotter, the trout, and the uh, what's the building next to it? The red one. Um, that's the one of the drugstores, I think. Mm. We'll talk offline about that. I could go down a serious rabbit hole here. <laughs> well, I'm going slower since I've got Parkinson's now. It, it, it's uh, it's slowed me down tremendously. The dirt on the roads is excellent. I wonder where you got that from. <laughs> it might have been North Georgia. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Seems like I uh, gave a friend of mine some of that dirt too. Yes, you did. <laughs> yes, well, well placed. Has it been? I think I've I hauled about Jesus. I must have hauled at least two or three gallons of that stuff on planes back here. Uh, TSA was curious. Uh, that much after finishing the Yankee Road Compass course there in Columbus. Uh, that's outstanding um, this is looking back uh, from the front corner uh, you can see the car shed there uh, the uh, Atlanta hotels here then you've got uh, this is Georgia Bank concert hall right so, hey, LeBron, uh, where do you have your ties mounted on there? Is that cork or something else? That is a uh, homo soap. So you beveled all those yourself. Are those individual sections? Uh, no, it's, uh, uh, it's flexible. There's you bought it like that? Yeah. Where? Uh, it's been so long ago, Tom. I, oh. I don't remember, remember where I got this from. Got you. Uh, but th there's uh, this cut goes about halfway, and then between these two, on from the other side, there's a another cut, so that's very flexible. I love it, man. I wish I knew. Okay. Now, I found another source for more recent home soap that I'm using for uh, my turnouts and some of my other layouts, but it's different and uh, it's. Uh, uh, um here's there's a, a cork yes there's a cork both of these rails and this rail right here all go back into the car shed okay what is that pole between the bank and the street like right at the front edge it's got a little best, white ball on top best i can tell it's a telegraph pole of some kind oh huh. When you look at the uh, photographs, there's another one located right here that I have not put in yet. Oh, that's great to know, man. Excellent. I uh, never knew that. Yeah. I just want to say that when I started looking at the TIF photographs, those are the kind of little details that I didn't pick up on in the other photographs. Right. And... Uh, you know, this boot sign right here. Can you zoom in on that? Yeah. There is a, another photograph in that group. Um, you probably found those on the Atlanta History Center or something like that. There's pictures of the streets where they're lighting the lamps at night. They're all lamps. and They got a long pole with a wick on the end of them. That they're lighting the lamps with one of you. I actually pulled these out of the Library of Congress. Uh, but here you see that there's a boot here, Tom, on this sign. Yeah. That's a, the, the name. Yeah. Boy, oh boy, oh boy. Awesome. Where do you get the grates for the windows? Uh, <laughs> I used uh, brass oh. uh, out of. Uh, just yes, a minute. It's my uh, it's my That's Civil War Zoom. I gotta I gotta figure. Put yourself on mute, John. Um, go ahead, LeBron. All right. Uh, okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Bye bye. Put yourselves on mute if you think you got a call or anything coming in. Go ahead, LeBron. All right. How did you do your Atlanta hotel sign? Is um, that a decal? It, it is a decal. Dang. That's another one that when I, uh, okay. Whoops. Who is that there? <laughs> what is going on here? It's it might be down on the lower part of your yeah. yeah. Click X that one out so she don't come back up. 
No, I keep finding my X now. Everything's to the top right. Keep going. Up, 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 up. There you go. Yeah, that lost the whole thing. Is it in that PowerPoint folder off to the left? Uh, it's there. Oh, you know what? Go to quick access to the top left. Go to quick access, top left. Yep. Uh, it's not in one of those that were under yeah. quick access? Yeah. Okay. Beautiful. Yeah. Uh, when I originally built the Atlanta Hotel, I had square columns. And when I got the uh, TIF and really looked at the, the picture, it had just looked like round pipe. And there was a place up here where the plaster had been knocked off, probably later because the picture was made after the Union occupied Atlanta. So I suspect it was from the bombardment. But uh, anyway, I included it in my my model because I thought it was a neat detail. Yeah. Uh, I'm really going to have to lean on you guys about your concert hall and your uh, car shed of what you use for the corners and the windows and the things that your detail on both those buildings is outstanding. His is better. No question. That's but it's I, I built my uh, concert hall out of styrene. Oh my gosh. Uh, here is uh, just a, a detail inside. This is State Square. And I have uh, actually there's three mules. There's another one here. One of the uh, contemporary accounts I read talked about uh, some mules getting into st the uh, State Square. Uh, huh. because they didn't fence in the animals uh, during this time frame, time frame. Right. <laughs> and then another little detail I added was uh, I read where the uh, Atlanta provost was uh, somewhat corrupt and he would stop wagons coming into the city uh, who were carrying liquor and he would smash all the barrels but one, that one he would uh, confiscate. <laughs> yeah. uh, so, uh, nice I that detail uh, in, in my uh, my layout. Did you print the Adams Milk sign too? Did you decal that one? Uh, yeah, I did, and I don't remember how I did it because that was of course, yeah, yeah, yeah. it was probably, so long ago, yeah, long ago. It was you, you, you know, you're start, you're a big help so far, man. Oh, I'm glad, I'm glad to help you. I mean. That's what I'm here for. <laughs> I love the gutters on that structure. Are mm -hmm. those square stock? No, they're round stock. Okay. Um, and I tried to duplicate the somewhat semi-formal gardening that was so popular during this period. Yep. Uh, here. Yep. So this is the, uh, the Masonic Lodge building. Right. And that white house next to it, uh, is that a kit? Yeah, that's a, a kit. Okay. That I, that I kit bashed. Um, Queen Anne, it was a Queen Anne house. Oh, right. So, um, wow. Um, here's another picture uh, looking at the down. Uh, at the Masonic Lodge and the Trout House. And uh, I'm very proud of this one vehicle right here, if I can. Okay. I don't see my... Oh, were you trying to zoom it in? Yeah. yeah. Anyway, it's a fire engine. 
that I scratch built. Oh, dang. Wow. A zoom is just, it's disappeared. That plus sign, huh? Hmm. Um, that's weird. Okay. Oh, well. Yep. Oh, I see it. Yeah, it's over there. You looking for your Zoom? Yeah, go. Keep going up and over to the right. See that 16? No, no. We're a little, next one, next one. Left, the yeah. other one. There you go. Yeah. It's not in the list. What's not? Zoom. Oh, really? I see it on my screen. You guys see it on your screen? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. Your you cursor is right second. next to it. I'm on a touch screen. I just pinch it and it zooms. That's nice. Yeah, if you're on a touch screen, touch screens are cool. I love them. Okay. Absolutely. And uh, when you come into my layout room, you you immediately look uh, into the uh, car shed, and uh, this is this it will be covered with fascia. Uh, this is the center platform. Um, I've got to tighten up this wire here because it's sagging. Right. Um, tighten up those turnbuckles. Yep, I got to do something. But Did these two facts belong to the Western Atlantic. Uh, this is the Georgia Railroad and uh, West Point and uh, um, Atlanta, Atlanta and West Point, rather. Right. And uh, Macon and West Point shared the same. Oh, they did. Macon, okay. I, okay, that's good to know. Did they get to the platform from a tunnel, or how did they get to the platform? Uh, they would just walk across the uh, tracks. Whoa. Um, yep. It, there was, it had a notorious reputation. Uh, but you, you got platforms on both sides. Right. Of the track. So. Did you uh, make your uh, bow trusses with wood? No. They are made out of styrene. Uh, the car shed itself is made out of foam board covered with paper. Really? Yeah. I uh, made a mock-up, and the mock-up looked so good, I couldn't oh, I just keep it. That's nice when it works out like that. Yeah. Jeez. What I did on the uh, these trusts is I, uh, I just had a straight uh, crust, and I, I cut the bottom off, or I mean the top off, and curved it and added another styrene to the top to to form the curve oh you found one that's okay because those are the ones i use the same thing yep yep it was too easy to not use it <laughs> yep. so uh, another little detail from the uh state square i got some kids playing on a, a swing here and some dogs and just life going on is normal Cool. And this is my final slide. I put on some of um, my, that's one of my locomotives, uh, Atlanta house car. I mean, a Western Atlantic house car, Western Atlantic passenger, and an Atlanta and West Point passenger car. Where'd you get the Atlanta and West Point decal? You made them? I made it by hand. Okay. Letter by letter. 
Oh, Lord. Off off decals? Yeah. I, I won't ever do that again. Yeah, man. Jeez. It looks great, though, but it's... Uh, it does. Well, you know what? We can always uh, figure out a way to... Uh, um, uh, to Joel, uh, Mr. Ott. <laughs> Which um, locomotive is that? I see it's a Western Atlantic. Do you remember the name on that locomotive? This locomotive is the president. President, okay. Beautiful. Uh, yeah, I've got about a dozen locomotives, but most of them are in storage because when I started rebuilding, I packed them all up. And this is an opportunity for me to get one of them out. <laughs> and I just picked the first one that came out. That's that's a just a rebuild general, correct? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, the uh, uh, boiler is a, a styrene boiler that I replaced the uh, on the general frame. Uh, right. Uh, this has got some old uh, decoders in it. Uh, it doesn't have sound. Uh, one of the things I've started doing is is putting sound in in my locomotives. You gonna uh, pick up some tsunami twos for those? That's what I hope. Yep. Yep. And I'm also. Yeah, Tom, you remember I had the, the old fashioned switches for my switches. Uh, yes. I'm going with uh, decoders now on this one. Oh, okay. I'm going into the 21st century finally. <laughs> right. Instead of using the old Atlas switches. That's funny. That's good, man. Yep, yep, yep. I'll share it. And while you got that on there, the people that do that brass, that stack and that pilot, the proper pilot port, um, they are still manufacturing those. They don't keep them in stock a lot. I've talked with them on the phone earlier this week and told them about the group. They said if we wanted a large bunch of them made at one time, they would be more than happy to accommodate us, make stacks, and pilots, any of the brass things that they make. Huh. Hmm. Hey, that's good to know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we could have an offline conversation about that. Mm -hmm. LeBron, LeBron, did you say this is your last slide? It is. Got it. Okay. Uh, I, I'm. I think this slide shows how I blended the uh, the background backdrop with the uh, 3D. Yep. I'm very pleased with the way it looks. Yep. That was a lot of painting going on back there. Yeah, it, it, it took a lot of uh, painting. And you got some uh, partial 3D on that backdrop with structures too, right? I believe. Yeah. Um, if we... Go back. Uh, oh yeah, yeah. All of these buildings are 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 applied to the uh, the back more painting and uh, like the cornice up here is three D. Right. Uh, the trees here are three D. Yeah. Just, just the little details that. Tell your brain that they're the, the whole thing is is actually three D instead of two D. Right, right, very cool. Um, did I ask you? So, you, it looks like you rebuilt your entire entire bench. Oh yes, I did. Uh, now, were you still? Go ahead. Yeah, I uh, put down a plywood base instead of a foam core. Foam board. Right. right. Um, are you still, con you're not considering a, a two level, are you? Uh, I'm considering it. Uh, I doubt I'll ever get to it. 
Right. Say, uh, I'm slower now than I was a couple right. years ago. Right. I get it. I get it. Yeah. Good. Well, thank you, sir. Appreciate it. Thank you for your time and uh, putting this together for us. It's uh, always uh, extraordinary. Yeah, I love it. Are you looking for that Zoom? Yeah, I'm still trying to find that Zoom. Was always... you know, it's right there, isn't it? I see it right there. It's just, just to the left of that. You don't see that little magnifying glass with a plus sign in it? Nope. Oh. Sure. Wild. That's what it was a few minutes ago. Yep. Oh, well. Well, it's, it's always uh, an invitation to come visit you. <laughs> You've got a standing invitation. Thank you, brother. Thank yeah. you. Thank you. As How far does that invitation? Rolling stock. Somebody had a question for you, LeBron. All right. yeah, to Joel. How far does that in invitation extend? Uh, it I'm extends. headed through Georgia in about three weeks. I'm glad to have you, Joel. Just any time you're down this way. You <laughs> been here, so. Okay. I, from my house, I hear uh, yeah, M1s all the time. <laughs> they shake the house periodically. Yeah, I, I I always find it interesting to see all the changes in Columbus over the years since I moved out of town. It's a totally different town today than it was 10 years ago. Right. Good. I'd imagine so, because we, we after the BRAC, we, we realized a whole bunch of stuff into Benning's. Yeah. Hey, LeBron, if you if you're finished, you can turn your share screen off. And I just want to give everybody a heads up that uh, Lee Rainey posted uh, in the chat a, a source for homicide. If you're interested, thanks, Lee. So, um, anything anybody have to share, or this is like spontaneous zone right now. Maybe you know? I could ask, could I? Oh, sorry. Oh, go go ahead. I just was... I, I was just going to ask a question about a TIFF file. How is a TIFF file, because that had all the detail, how is a TIFF file different than a PNG or JPEG, or a am I TIFF. misinterpreting? A TIFF will allow you to <laughs> zoom to places you can't even imagine. It was, yeah, it's like, that's where I first saw, I think LeBron pointed it out, or the site that we found where this guy did some remarkable research and was showing stuff like hundreds of yards away. I forget the guy's name, but his site's not even available anymore. If anybody knows his name, you know, put it in the chat or just interrupt me. Uh, but you were able to zoom in so far, you could see they had lightning rods on the car shed. Yeah. i like, whoa. So yeah, a, a TIFF file, it's a bigger file. Uh, which I'm sure your computer can handle, but it is well worth it uh, to, you know, locate that TIFF version. A lot of them out there aren't TIFF. You usually got to go to the Congress or what have you, but if you know what you're looking for, it's and well for, worth it. For example, that uh, photograph that we looked at with the people on the box cars, on the house cars, uh, with a JPEG, you just, those would pixel light. You wouldn't be able to get that detail. Yeah, I remember Charlie found something too when we were trying to figure out the Adams Express just uh, on the south end of Chattanooga. And I think Charlie found one that was no, I don't, I don't I've never seen it before, but it was from the, the TIFF file where you could see some of the extraordinary details. I love those. I get talking about rabbit holes. Oh my God. <laughs> it's, a, it's a fun journey. Using cloud storage, they'll send you a note saying you need to buy a little more. That's right. That's right. I get that after I do these these uh, meets, but I delete it because I recorded it. All right. Cool. All right. I'm gonna just stop that. Yeah.